So what if I told you that every single conversation you have with an AI like ChatGPT could potentially be read by another human being? And then, get this, maybe even reported to the police. No, this is not science fiction. It's happening right now, and honestly, it's probably going to change how you think about AI privacy forever. Let's just dive right into the big question, the one that's on everyone's mind. When you're typing away, asking ChatGPT for help, is that conversation actually truly private? You'd think so, right? But the reality, well, it's a lot more complicated. And the answer, coming straight from OpenAI itself, is a pretty blunt, not always. Yep, tucked away in a company blog post was this absolute bombshell that has kicked off a huge debate about what privacy even means anymore. Okay, so to really get what's going on, we have to start with this one crucial and frankly kind of shocking fact. OpenAI is actively scanning your conversations, and in some specific cases, they might even be reporting them to law enforcement. So here's the policy in a nutshell. The company has basically given itself the green light to act as a surveillance agent. If their system flags something you say as a potential threat, it doesn't just stop there. Nope, that little chat can trigger a whole review process with some very, very real-world consequences. So how does this actually play out? Is it just some algorithm making a split-second decision? Well, that's where this gets even more interesting, because this isn't a fully automated system, not by a long shot. That's right. After an AI flags a conversation, real human reviewers actually step in. These are people reading your words, and they're the ones making a subjective judgment call about what they think is a genuine threat. This adds a whole layer of human interpretation to the entire process. Okay, so let's walk through the path from your screen to potentially a police desk. It all starts when the AI flags your chat for something it thinks is threatening. Then it gets kicked over to a human reviewer who reads what you wrote. And here's the critical part. They have to decide if the threat is imminent. If they say yes, boom. Your conversation is no longer private. It gets passed on to law enforcement. But you have to ask, why is OpenAI even doing this? I mean, this policy didn't just appear out of nowhere. It's really rooted in a much bigger conversation about safety, legal liability, and, you know, the growing pains of a brand new technology. Look, the company is reacting to some pretty serious stuff. There have been several high-profile cases of people having really disturbing and sometimes tragic interactions with AI systems. So OpenAI is clearly trying to get ahead of any potential lawsuits and position itself as a responsible company. And you've got to pay close attention to the specific language OpenAI uses here. Imminent threat of serious physical harm. That wording is absolutely key. It's how they frame the whole policy, as a kind of last resort, only meant to prevent the most extreme worst-case scenarios. But as you can probably guess, this whole policy has just ignited a firestorm. The AI community is totally divided on this, and it really brings up a fundamental question about the trust between us, the users, and the tech platforms we use every day. And this really gets us to the heart of the conflict. It's safety versus privacy. On one side, you have people arguing this is a necessary evil to prevent real-world harm, you know, just like content moderation on social media. But on the other side, critics are saying this is a massive breach of trust that turns a private tool into a corporate surveillance machine. All right. Let's bring this all back home, because this isn't just some theoretical debate for tech nerds. It has direct practical implications for every single one of us who uses these AI tools. So here's what this really means for you. First, the new golden rule. Just assume nothing you type is 100% private. Second, and this is so important, remember that the human reviewer on the other end has zero context about who you are. A sarcastic comment, a dark joke, even writing a scene for a novel could be completely misinterpreted. And finally, the very idea of a threat is subjective. Your words are literally being judged by a standard you can't even see. So at the end of the day, all of this leaves us with this one enormous question for our future with AI. Where do we draw the line? Who gets to police our private thoughts? Is it the tech companies or is it our legal system? It's a question we all really need to start thinking about.